Hello guys, this is gonna be a tech profile for my car racing uh, UMI control, as, as you want to call it So I will show you everything, main deck, uh, extra deck and side deck So let's start uh, This is, a, by the way, it's a budget deck, but do not underestimate it, it can do extremely well in locals and everything So let's start Of course we play um, the the main card in the deck is uh, three legendary oceans. This is the field spell, and this is the card that makes you uh, every uh, tech in your deck alive. Because as long as this is on the field, uh, basically you can lock your opponent and also provide some negates. So three of those. Now the boss monster of the deck is like uh, Kyrian, Ocean Dragon Lord. Uh, you must play this card at 3, uh, this, is, this serves you uh, every key card uh, from the deck to the hand. Uh, also it's like um, uh, an, uh, a floodgate, so your opponent has to control only water monsters. Uh, so they can control more than one non-water monster. Um, this card is very good and it will pair up uh, very good with uh, Sea Stealth, which is a card that I will show you in a bit. So three of those. Uh, the big body yeah, in this deck is like uh, Fortress Will. This is a heavy beater, especially if you have Umi on the field. It uh, takes a boost and also during the battle phase um, this card can quick effect, destroy one face up most of your opponent controls. Uh, but the m most important effect uh, in this deck is like the, that it can um, make all water monsters you control uh, attack directly this turn. So you activate this effect in the main phase and then in the battle phase you can attack for game. So, 3 Electric Jellyfish. Uh, this card is very 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 good uh, because even if you don't have a uh, umi in your hand as long as you have this one and uh, and a kairishin you can uh, make a combo that i will show you in a different video that you can have your in your board with just this card and uh, kairishin you can have this card umi sea stealth and kairishin so you have basically multiple negates so this card by itself as long as you control umi um, you can uh, negate a monster or spell effect and also if you normal summon it uh, even if you don't control umi you can uh, send an umi from your deck uh, or hand to the graveyard as cost and then you can special summon a water monster from your hand and you can also uh, summon big bodies like this one so three of those now a card that many people cut uh, is Doom Kraken. I'm uh, also considering cutting it. I always side it out uh, in game two and three because it's like it's good, but it's not that important in the deck. Uh, basically, it's an interruption for your opponent as long as you control a water monster and they control a, a monster. Um, but it's not that good. And most of the times I side it out. Uh, now. Ice Jade Trimora, like uh, this card is very very good because it's a level 5, it's, it helps with assist health, uh, it helps because even if you don't control Umi or any, or something else, uh, you can special summon Kairishin uh, very very easily with by discarding this card. Many 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 people um, play this card at 2, uh, I don't play them, uh, you can discard the same card to special summon it, to special summon this card. So if you have two, you can uh, discard one and special summon the other, so it still works. Now, um, two, Warrior of Atlantis, uh, this card, uh, many people play one, many people play two, and many people play three. I've, I've seen uh, many deck profiles of this deck, I like it at two for the first game, and second and third game you might uh, need to side one of them out. Basically, it's a uh, terraforming, uh, it serves your uh, legendary ocean, and also it uh, baits a lot of negates, that's why I play it too. Now, uh, Maiden of the Aqua, this is an ancient card. Um, 
this acts as UMI while on the field and while you control no other field spell. So it makes the effects of your monster and spell and traps uh, alive as long as you have it in defense position because it's also a 2000 defense uh, monster so your opponent won't out it that easily. Now, uh, Terror King Salmon is the only uh, normal uh, water monster that we play in the game, in the deck, because uh, you can special summon it from hand and uh, deck or graver um, through other cards that we have in the deck. So it's very, very good to have it at one, and also it's level five. So if you control Lumi, uh, you can normal summon it because it's level five, and while you control Legendary Ocean. Uh, every water monster in both their players' uh, hands and fields, um, the stars are reduced by one. So it's a good one-off. Now, um, Fish Sonor is like um, the searcher in the deck. Uh, it searches you like a water monster that is uh, level F uh, 7 or lower uh, from your deck to your hands. Um, but it has to mention Umi in its text. And if you control Umi when you activate this card, um, you can uh, special summon also a non-effect water monster from your deck. So this is very very good to play at 3. Now uh, Kairishin sells this card. This is Kairishin's Dark Reef. This is one of the best cards in the deck. You play it at 1 because it's searchable and also it has a very very huge cost so you can't activate many and still be uh, safe so it sends from your field as cost and umi a legendary ocean or whatever card acts as umi and you can special summon the two monsters uh, from your deck uh, with different names and they have to mention uh, umi in their text also uh, if uh, umi is on the field when this card is activated um, you can special summon also a water normal monster. This is a very very good card and also if uh, most of the times when you summon this and when you activate this and it resolves uh, properly, uh, most of the times you win the game but yeah it's a very very good one of. Sea Stealth 2, this is the f uh, spell, a continuous spell that acts like uh, Umi while on the field or in the graveyard. Uh, it protects your water monsters from uh, non-water uh, monster effects, uh, they can target them and also at the start of the battle phase they you can uh, special summon a water monster that is normal or an effect monster that uh, mentions Umi in its text from your heart or graveyard and but you have to destroy it uh, during the end of the battle phase. Sea Stealth 2 is, uh, mean, is I think the, the best card in the deck because um, on activation it um, activates an Umi from your hand or graveyard uh, and this is, uh, this is this has to go first so it's on activation and then it, you gain two additional effects um, first uh, you can banish a water monster to protect every face up uh, spell and trap uh, on your field and at the end of the phase you can bring the water monster you banished back on the field first of all and the second effect which is the best effect in the game and makes this deck that good is that uh, every water monster that is level 5 original levels are level 5 or uh, higher uh, when it battles uh, you can destroy your opponent's monster and this can very good when you while well, you pair it with skill drain because you can pay a thousand life points to make uh, every effect monster on the game on the board has no effect. So imagine your woman has no effects, you have no effects, and just with um, a mega force as well, let's say with Kairishin and every other uh, level five or higher monsters, you can just uh, battle them and destroy them. So these cards. Or when you pair them together, it's like uh, most of the times you win the game. Now, uh, some other cards is uh, two full foolish burial goods. Uh, you often send Umi if you need to activate it from the graveyard uh, through sea stealth, or you can send ice barrier. This is um, 
one of the better concerts that helps you search uh, your boss monsters. It can help to search Kairisin, Mega Fortress Whale, or um, this guy that we play in the side deck, uh, the Kaiju, because it's still a level 5 or higher water monster. So this is very very good, and you have to play it at 2. Also, I forgot to mention that if you set it, uh, and you don't uh, necessarily use it with full burial goods, if you set it, uh, when your opponent attacks, it makes the attack, uh, the attacking monster uh, attack go to zero, and also it negates its effects permanently. So um, it's a win-win uh, condition. Three as blossoms because I think it's the best um, hand trap uh, in every format, uh, and. I think it's the best Sandra because it's an easy side out. So basically, if you need something else in its place, you can side out three of those and you can replace with any uh, other card that you need more than that. For consistency, we play three post of extravagance because uh, we don't rely at all on the extra deck. Uh, we have we have some cards, but we don't rely that on them to win. Now. Mm, Two dark rulers um, because we want if we go second to have some uh, chances to make our combos and to not be stopped by our opponent. One metaverse because it can search um, the field spell along with terraforming. And last card, it's the most hated card, it's like uh, Mystic Mine. We play this at one because we can activate. We can search it, and if we go second and activate it, uh, most of the times we can stall at least until we have the, uh, the resources that we need in our hands, and then we can push for games. So this is the main deck. Um, I will show you right now the extra deck. Okay. So extra deck, uh, we play three uh, stealth wagon. Uh, this card, uh, you can make this with uh, level 4 monsters, uh, water monsters. Um, it has a quick effect that you can destroy um, a face up uh, monster on the field. Okay, uh, And basically, when you have this card on the field, every, water, every, every, every monster your opponent controls and you control becomes water. Um, we may basically use this for its quick effect to destroy one. Uh, monster on the field and we have also the crag and spawn uh, to pair it with I, I, I never use this but it's okay to have it in case you need it okay so this goes there now for some more water monsters we play three Bahamut sharks um, because we play extravagance uh, most of the times so you may uh, banish one of them so it's a good uh, thing to have three because you you pair them with um, totally awesome and uh, Leviathan Dragon number seventeen. Um, both these cards can uh, be summoned through Bahamut, and this card because with Umi we we have reduced levels on the field. Your level four will become level three, so you can still make it without Bahamut. Now some. Other um, SEs monsters, we have the Abyss Dweller and the number 101, Silent Heart. Uh, this card is very very good because when you have some boss monsters that you can out by battle or something, you can equip them uh, in this card and not send them to their graveyard so they don't have additional effects in the graveyard. You keep it on them, on this boy here. So. Um, you get rid of them of the problematic cards. Now for the links, we play uh, one Mister Boy. I never I never summon it, but it's okay to have it at once. Um, a Cerberus, a Phoenix, and this boy here that I will bump up to three when I get the chance because this card is like um, a three K beater. Uh, it has awesome effects also. Uh, when you make it like um, with your forces well after you battle and everything 
uh, you make this guy uh, in main phase 2 and it cannot be targeted or destroyed with card effects and also it's very very huge body so even if you have a skill drain on the field this is a 3k beater so you can still punch for games now for the side deck okay we play one kraken because uh, no, uh, not kraken uh, <laughs> like a kaiju uh, because uh, you can search it and it's very very good to have at one we play three evenly matched because i think it's the best card going second a cosmic cyclone a feather duster for the back row we play also a raigeki this is a very very good card uh, to have against uh, any game because uh, most of the opponent on the monsters on the field do not have protection from being destroyed. Okay, so we play two lightning storms. Uh, this card, uh, it's like uh, the best thing that you can have when you go second on your opening hand because you can bait their negates and also if they don't negate it, you can make some serious damage to their board. Okay, and now from from my perspective, uh, this is the six last cards that have the biggest impact on the current meta it's like three shadow imprisoning mirror this card uh, prevents from your opponent to activate dark um, monster effects in the field and in the graveyard and this is in my opinion uh, a very very huge deal for most for for eight percent of the decks and another uh, floodgate it's like a non-fusion area it stops many many decks uh, from uh, playing. Okay, so most of the times if you activate this, and you have your also your negates from the water monsters, uh, your opponent won't be able to out it with mystic Ma with uh, no I'm sorry for with feather duster or cosmic cyclone because you can negate it with your jellyfish. So this stays active. Your opponent cannot um, out it. So most of the times if you play with um, fusion uh, decks uh, you win the game so i think this is the end of the, the deck profile i will make um, a video to explain what you can do with this deck I, uh, this is very 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 strong deck in, um, and it will never be um, and a meta that this deck will not be able to play and at least to be at a competitive level because it's a uh, a floodgate deck and it will be always be able to put the opponent out of under pressure so that was the deck profile i hope you like it and uh, stay tuned because um the next video will be a video with uh, combos and some techniques that i found that work and it can it can win the games so thank you guys have a nice day